Hello Opal's users. In this short tutorial, I'm going to cover running your shelf list report. The shelf list is a very in informative report to run for your library as it lists how many marks slash bibliographic records you may have, as well as holdings, the average cost or price of your collection, and the average cost per book, and you can export it to a spreadsheet format for looking through your collection to see if there's any call number mistakes or etc. To run the report, the Administration tab, Reports and Tools, and when the Reports and Tools opens up, go to the far left column, Item Statistics Reports, and at the very bottom you'll see Shelf List and Ranges. As soon as you click this, the report starts to run. It might take a few minutes because it's rather large. Here's my Shelf List, and you'll notice that in this particular library, there's 10,131 bibliographic slash mark records, which translates to 12,906 holdings, multiple copies, encyclopedia sets, and the like. You will see that you have columns that can be sorted. They're hyperlinked title, author, ISBN, pub date. If you have locations in your library, they will be listed right here in this column. Call number, price, barcode, total circ, and the availability as of today when I ran the report. You can also rerun the report for a call number range just from 001.000 to 299.999 or if you do have shelving location, locations in your library you can choose the shelving location here and run the report just on that particular location such as graphic novels, equipment if you have that, uh, biographies. Again, this would be dependent on whether you used location tool or not in your library. So you can rerun the shelf list by call number ranges, locations. Um, now I'm going to show you how to export it. Just simply click export as a CSV, click export all. Might take a few minutes to run. It's a big file. My shelf list is ready to be saved to my computer. I would suggest creating a uh, folder on your desktop for various reports or just the shelf list. And you can go ahead and save it. And when you save it, it's a good idea to name it something, uh, you know, with a date. So you know that this is the date you ran the shelf list. I've already saved it. I called it Library Shelf List March 2019. I have gone to where I saved my shelf list report. And right here you can see that you have uh, your titles on the far left and your authors, ISBN, pub date, total circ, location if you do use a location. Uh, we also have your barcode numbers, call numbers, price, and availability for this particular date that I ran the report. You'll notice a few blanks in the prices, so this report could be helpful by providing you with the barcode number and or the author and title. And if you'd like to go in and fix or add prices, you could. Or if you see that you have an issue with your call numbers, uh, something's wrong in a call number range, or you find some oddity in your call numbers, you can then use that barcode and go look at the call numbers and fix it. Um, so the Shelf List Report is a very helpful tool to look at your library in a variety of ways. Quite a long report, and I'm not sure about uh, printing it. C could be quite a big report to print, but you can always look at it as you open it up. I hope this short tutorial has been helpful, and all the best.